Sneakerhead, you got connected on Instagram. Um, tell them who you are. I'm Sticks, uh, Instagram, the Gallery of Scott. I'm one fifth of the Office podcast, the Office 14 podcast. Let's start from the beginning, right? What was that first shoe for you that was like, I like, I like shoes? Like, it was the 11s. The crazy thing, it was the 11s, it was the uh, Concords. The Concords, I feel like everybody first, like. Love for shoes was the elevens. Yeah, man, and I couldn't get them. I couldn't afford them back in the day. My mom, single mother of five, right? You know what I mean, so Jordans wasn't in my budget at the time. So wait, wait. So what? What? What age was this? I don't even remember what year the elevens came out. I don't remember. Were you like a kid, kid? Or yeah, I was a kid. I'm 34. So okay, like okay. when they came out the first time. Oh, the first one. Yeah, okay, not okay. the re not retros. The first time they came out. When Jordans, when you could go in the store on a Saturday and pick up Jordan, no right. questions asked. You know I mean? No line, no hustle. Nothing. Or, I mean, I'm from, I'm from Chester, so we had a right. store called the Chester Bootery. You get them an extra $20, $30, you could get them before release. Like, as soon as they got them in, you go over there, an extra 20 or 30 you would get them. Good like, days. the good days. What right? was the first sneaker your mom got you? Like quality that, like, that that you felt like, and I felt like was it? Yeah, like I like I'm going to school and I'm some Barclays. Ooh, which ones? The uh, oh, okay. the the black, white, and purple Jones. I had them Jones. They were middle school. They were special, man. Like when I got them, like you couldn't tell me nothing. Especially once they got a little dick and then we start playing ball in them. Like I thank her for these niggas. Cause I don't. <laughs> I, I think I want to say that was the first colorway. But I think I seen Barkley in them. I'm like, yo, I need like actually those. balling on TV. Yes, you mm -hmm. I mean like I'm a little older, so I right, actually right, got right, to right. see all these players play Barkley, right. Tim Duncan with the, the the Tim Duncan's penny with the phones. Like, yo, I, I had, actually got to see that. I had the Tim Duncan's with the super big ass Duncan jersey back in the day. <laughs> Your jer jersey had to be like a 50, a 54, 56 or something For like sure. that. Nothing was fitted. Nothing was fitted. For sure. I, I remember buying size 40 jeans, 44 Dude, jeans. That's, that's nuts. It, like so much denim. <laughs> it was crazy. How do but, you even put like a belt around them? I, the, the, the denim would be lapped over. Like <laughs> on, the with a, on the sides with a big ass belt on it. But nah, um, I just remember seeing them. I remember kept telling her I wanted them. She told me right. no. Like she kept saying, no, I'm not getting them for you. They cost too much, whatever the case may be. And uh, Probably like a buck. I think it was like 110, 120 yeah. at the time. And at that time, you figure I was young and she had five kids, so you got to do a lot. So I, right. I kind of thought it was far fetched, but you know, shit, it's worth the while to ask. So I asked and right. she came through. I came home from school and they was there. Damn. I put them on right then. Like, you no time. No, like as <laughs> soon as I came home from school, I put them on and went right outside. Like, niggas, you going to see these things. Right. But yeah, that was that was special for me, man. That was special. Did you ball in them when he first got them? Was it like, no, I gotta keep no, them, I gotta I, keep them clean. I was below. cleaning them with the toothbrush every day and taking the shoe strings out and washing them with the bar soap. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I was serious about them. Listen, I set them next to my bed on my nightstand, like it was my alarm clock and my Barclays. Like, I know that's serious, dog. Well, we, we move on. What's on, what's on your feet, bro? Uh, I got the uh, Biotex. Okay, okay. This this was one of the this the last dunk that I got. Retail. I yeah. went on the sneakers app. Dunks are like a the back. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, it's so crazy because I've been the biggest SB fan forever. Right. Like forever. And I'm so mad at myself because you I was when you I were. was watching the skunks. Oh, they went up? Super. Whenever Travis Scott wears something. Yeah, that's any celebrity that's yeah. It, yeah, it goes. But they were they was like six hundred. Like maybe two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. On like stock days, it was six hundred, right. and I said, ah, "I'll wait, I'll wait." Now them motherfuckers like twelve hundred, thirteen, maybe more. Honestly, I stopped checking once they went over a thousand. Well, y'all know me. I'm a uh, I'm a Jordan one guy, so I got the the Royals on. 
I see you got a little collection. Y'all see later, but um, what was the shoe that made you start collecting? So collecting, you believe it or not, it was bands. But was it like a mental thing? Like I'm gonna collect, or was it like I'm buying it and then it start piling up? With, with, with the Vans, I just started, like, I started out with Vans, like, maybe. That's, that's, that's a unique way of coming into the, the collecting culture. Maybe. Like I said, I'm really a big, I had an extremely big fan of skateboard sneakers. Like, not okay, DCs okay, and shit okay, like that, yeah. but Dunks and Vans right. all day long. What was the reason, though? I, was, look, I, I had a fad it? with skateboarding attire. Okay, the okay, clothes, gotcha, the okay, sneakers. Okay. I always wanted to skateboard. I just don't have any balance, so I didn't work <laughs> out. Like, I wanted to, though, but going back, before the before Pharrell and all them came around when skateboard yeah. was in, like, yeah. I was the motherfucker in Chester with ripped jeans on and right, you shit like that. Before, before, like, before the wave. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? That was, that was me 100%. Like, 100% that was me, so... That's so it started with Vans, and it, and the reason it started is like you know I, I got a few pairs, and it was like damn I want these ones, damn I want these ones. Then they come out with a Vans Volt collection. I don't know if you into. Vans. I'm not really big. I'm not so, really big on Vans. Like, like their 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 boutique line in a sense is called Vans Volt. So it's okay. just it, they only come out with them one time. It's a it's a limited amount of pairs that come out. So those were so unique to me. I started buying more and more and more, and they're cheaper too. So it's not really. Then again, it's not. Yeah. I got Vans that's retail two fifty three hundred. Yeah, I, they in the closet. Wow. I'll show them to you. I, I never wore them though. Some of them, like the Volt collection ones. Okay, those are. Yeah, I right, right, got you. Some got of you. them are really pricey, but for the most part, the typical Vans fifty dollars, sixty dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's how it started. And then it gradually grew into. I always liked basketball sneakers, but the way I dressed at the time. It was it was Vans and Chucks, Vans. right? So right. then I started migrating into changing my the way I dress, which started me into. So when did that? What age did that transition? Oh, this was Vans 20. into like the Jordans or the Nikes or whatever. Twenty five into twenty six. Oh, so you was on Vans for a long time. Like Damn, I, like man. Vans. I'm trying Vans from high school graduation to yeah. twenty six. Like you know, this this was right this was right before the era of like Errol Pastel, Abercrombie, and right, Fitch. right. This was, I started wearing early them two thousand, like oh one, oh two, okay. right, right, right around that area. This is when I started wearing them again, and I didn't. I still don't. I still wear them. Like right. not. I didn't stop. They're just not in my closet. They're in the basement. I got another storage, but it's just Vans, right. and I don't have the boxes for them, so I just leave them down there. Right. So when is so when you transition from Vans to I guess Nikes and. And Jordans. What was the shoe that transitioned you into that? Ones. <laughs> huh? Yeah. But you know what's crazy? Ones just became a big deal maybe five years ago. See, so uh, this is eight years ago. Right. So when I started getting into ones, and the ones that made me want to get in, it's three pair. I only okay. got one of them. Okay. The Gucci ones. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? The yeah. Gucci ones. The Knicks. Ooh, the next ones, yeah. and if you remember, it was a black and white pair of highs. Black and white. It was black. It was. They, oh yeah, yeah. They, those. They came those, out for the lows or the no, the highs. Yeah, they came out like 2014, 15, 16, like like 13, 14. Yeah, yeah, around that era. Because it was when those came out when ones was one forty. Like I want those. Y'all niggas don't know that though. Ones, <laughs> yeah. one, ones was one forty at one point in time, and then it didn't have the the um. The Nike, the, the old school box. It was the regular Jumpman box back then. I had a couple. I, I got ones that got the regular box, and yeah. I got ones that got the all black box with just the Jumpman sign on it. Yeah, it, it varied. Yeah. But, but then it was one forty. So that's when, like, that's really and in the uh, you know what? What else? My first grab of ones was the Laney Highs. Was that like just walking the store? Like, did you on see it on sale? Somebody? On sale. Yeah. In Ubik. Good things. Yeah. Walking on Ubik, they was a hundred dollars. Yo, ones were like not a thing. No, no, no um, at all. Quite a few ones set. Like, uh, I like I remember my man said the bread set at yeah. one point in time. He worked at Foot Locker. Yeah, they said the bread set. Yeah. And it's so crazy. Like even the lows, like not all right. There's two types of lows. Yeah, the one with the Nike thing in the front. I hate those. I hate those ones. <laughs> it's like they, they seem higher. Yeah. And then it's the OG lows. Now right. I got every classic colorway of the OG lows. The okay. Chicago's, the Royals, the Shadows, the Bull, the, the Breads, and the Metallic Blues. Ooh, I hate to go to the Metallic I think I got the, the, metallic metallic I think I got the Metallic Reds, too. I got to look in there, but I think I put... 
The, I mean, they said, all, every pair of Lowe's said, I'm not a big Lowe's fan. But the crazy thing I is, mix. I looked at the resale on the Chicago Mids would never. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, never, <laughs> ever. Mids are only okay for kids. I say that and I stand on it. And, and girls. Some, it look, it look. Only, only mids that's cool for girls is the Aaliyah Mage ones. Right, because it's collab and got expected. But right, that's right, it. Right, like, right. I hate mids on girls, too. Kids only, because kids don't have a lot of options for, for ones. They don't bring every pair of ones out. Not the good clothes. The hot, right, not yeah, the kids. Not, like, not the good so, clothes. So, their options is limited. So, right. mids for kids is completely fine. I will never judge a kid. I will never judge a kid at, at all. Yeah, it'll come true. I'll right. judge the parent, but not the kid. <laughs> right, so, what, what is your favorite silhouette when it comes to Jordans? Uh, it's a it's a tie between ones and sixes. Sixes. I love sixes. Yeah. What color was your favorite sixes? I I all the sixes, the infrareds, the the black ones, the ones Nike on the back. Yeah, the OG. I got them in there. I got the white ones too, the white infrareds. Sixes. But yeah, sixes. Huh. That's huh. it for me. I like I like fours. I like threes. But sixes is 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 is, is, is that's the one for me. Like I'm Travis Scott sixes, I'm tan ones. That's my next yeah. resale purchase, a hundred percent. All right, so what's your grill? I sold my grill. Wait, you you had the grill and you sold it? Yeah, I had the Union ones. That's that's your grill for me. I, I got a yeah. bunch of shit, but right, right, right. Like the what 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 goes into the sneaker? The fact it's two sneakers and one. The right. colorways, like I, I love those. Like those are those are it for me. I sold them though, cause I I couldn't pass up the amount of money, and I got them for retail. So it was like, yeah. I mean, I got them for retail, and it's crazy. I took them to Miami to wear for Art Basel. Right. Whatever year they came out, I, they came out in around you no know, end of November, beginning of December. Art Basel's in December. I took yeah. them down to wear them, and I went in uh, round two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, you sold them in Miami? Yeah. Yeah, I won it round two, and they had a pair in there for seventeen hundred. I'm like, whoa! Like, yeah, I, I said, y'all. I said, what are y'all paying for these? He was like, what size? I told him at eleven. He said, that's my size. I said, I'll give you seventeen for him. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm selling I said, that. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, I'm selling that. That's my trip right there. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I would be a fool not. Now, granted, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, worth yeah. more now. But, but at that moment, at that moment, that. I wasn't turning down seventeen hundred cash in your hand yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I wasn't I'm turning that down. What's the top five sneakers of all time? Ever? Ever. Wow. Um, no order. No order. order. No order. But right. I have to say this first. It's the copper phones. Copper phones? Copper phones are top five for me. Um, just the colorway or just the colorway, the sneaker, that icy blue sole. Like, I was, I still I still haven't owned a pair. And that's, it hunts me. Oh. The skunk dunks. The yeah, highs, the OGs, not not the the reverse ones that they came out with. Yeah, the original yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, Those for a lot of money. Breads, of course. Uh, like the breads, much. yeah, the okay. breads gotta be in there. Uh, that's tough though. That's tough. Top five. It was out. The the Freddy Krueger dunks. So, so you're big on dunks. Yeah, the Freddy Krueger dunks. Like I said, SBs all day. So right. As the Freddy Krueger dunks would definitely be in there. I take a a a. a, a, a that's old school. This is the traditional black and white old school vans, which is the you know which ones. Yeah, are yeah, 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 yeah. The old school vans. What's what's that brand? I be, I'm not really hip to the to the whole vans word, but it's like the lightning bulb. That's uh, I forget the name, but it's vans but, though, right? No, that's the dude. I I, I Ian Ian, Ian Connor. Connor. That's All his right, brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's his brand of uh of that was sneakers. So, which I don't camping out. Do you miss it? You have any good memories, bad memories on camping out? Believe like, it or not, I only camped out once. For what? Before? For the Shatterback or twos. I went to Ubik and uh Which Ubik? Downtown. Okay. Yeah, I went to Ubik. Oh, good luck with that. Yeah, I went they had they <laughs> right. They had them. It's crazy because I went down there to get them. Right. And it was a it, the line wasn't long at all. It was probably like ten people in front of us. We went down there like six in the morning. Like I never did the Overnight camps. Really? And, nah, I never. Were you were you lucky enough to get the shoe you wanted? I, I had the best luck up until the end of 2019. Like when I say the best luck, I I was be able to go on websites and buy on sneakers. I won damn near every raffle I entered. Never won a raffle on sneakers. It's crazy. Like I don't have no luck now at all. 
But then I was like, I, so I, I got both pair off white Prestos off sneakers. Yo, and it was exclusive contacts. access. I didn't even have to get them when everybody else trying to get them. Oh, they them. told you, yo, you got access to It was it. like, you have exclusive Random access. Stuff, yeah. Both pair, both pair of black ones. Yo. It's crazy. But like I said, then, like I had luck. I didn't have to do that. So I was just right. buying shit. It just seemed like I was lucky. And a lot of times, people don't know, you big, they still do it where they put, like they'll do the raffle, and then they'll have whatever pairs aren't picked up. They put them out at random times. Yeah, time. like, oh, oh, I know, for like, it'd be like 3 o'clock, you got after three o'clock, you can come line up and you pick up the, like the raffles. People don't. Nah, you big. It's random. They just put them out. Like you'll just go in the store and they're there. Like and I've I never got that. a few pairs. Just I used to go like where I work. I used to go downtown before work and right. then I would go to work and I would just stop in you big randomly see what they had and I've scored a few good pair like that. I don't, I don't even try you big. I've tried so many raffles. Like, so. A block away from my job was the Jordan store. Like they had a foot action slash jump man twenty three store. Yeah. So they got everything. And a lot of times I was able to just walk over there and they'll give you a band. Like they just give you bands and you just come in and get the shit. Like legit, you would go get the band in the morning and then come back buying sneakers. No issues. Like I, I got the uh the what the, the royal ones. I, the, the sport blue, not sport blues. The, oh, I know about the one with like the, the toe box is white. The whole game Royals? Is it the Game Royals? I just had them on. I'll show you. I'll, maybe you'll know the name. I just had them on it when I was in LA. It might have been the Game Royals. These ones. Oh, Storm Blues. Storm Blues. That's Storm what they call it. Storm Blues. Set. Those are fire. I want them. They set. I know. They set. And they go for like seven, eight right now. <laughs> they set. I walk, I walk in there. No band, no nothing. Six o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. On, they released on a Saturday. I walked in on Sunday and bought them. The receipt's still in the box, right? No issue. What's your thoughts on the resale market and stock X and GOAT and E? I hate the resale market. I do. But I love it. It's, mm. it's, it's, a, it's a give and take. I hate it because... It's a gift and a curse. Exactly. I hate it because of the resale prices. Right. And, it, and it's making people that's not into the sneaker buy the sneakers. Like, I be seeing motherfuckers that I know, like, you're not going to wear these. And you want them just to sell them. When it's a motherfucker like myself, I want them to wear them. I just want to rock them. That's I just it. Fly. You right. know what I mean? That's right. it. Right. So, but I get it because it's a hustle. So I can't knock it because right. like, it's my, that's some people's only occupation is buying and selling sneakers. Some people make a lot of money doing this. Like, they do. And I'm not mad at that. But then again, the resale market still makes it accessible to sneakers that weren't accessible. Like at one point in time, Facts. Facts. If, if we just go off the sneakers app and feel like once we couldn't get them no more, then what? It's, it's uh, over. It was over. But right. now, it's still making it like, all right, cool. I can get them. I just got to pay a little more. Plus, right. with Afterpay and Clarina and all that shit, it makes it... It kind of evens it out. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, kinda, cool. I, even I ain't got to pay 700 a day. I got to pay... 150 every two weeks or 175 every two weeks, which is like I, I can live with that versus which is lovely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, that's what I do. With that's all, with all my big purchases. I'm like, I'm not spending all this money at once. No, no, I can no. break it into four, in four payments. I'll be a fool. I'll I break $200 down in the four payments. <laughs> not because I don't have it, just it's because just, it's, it's like, like, okay, yeah, it's $50 better. today. Fine, right. come on, let's do it. It don't, it don't feel like a big, like, damn, should I do this? No, I got 50 today. Like, yeah, you take that. I'll take worry about it in two weeks from now. No problem. You know what sneaker that's always gonna get money off of Jordan ones? Oh, absolutely. Even, mids, even the shittiest ones. Mids resell good. Believe it or really? not, I swear to you. Look when you, when your spare time, look on StockX and look at resale for mids. It's not a lot, but it's like you can get a mid. And what's the mid price? One ten. Oh, it was one ten at one point. Uh, so I, I think it's like one thirty. One thirty. Yeah. It'd be going for like two fifty, two sixty. So if you can, if you can get a couple pair, you can make a mid. It's, it's worth it. I mean, I don't feel like nickel and diamond. So that, yeah, that's I why I stay right. away from it. But I, mids resell, though. But that shows you how much people that don't know shoes is in the culture now. 100%. Because that just proves alone. Mids is going for, like, what? 100%. Like, mids? mids sit. And that's the mind blowing part. Like, you can go in any footlocker local. I, I'm not, I can't speak for other states. Because right. other states wear them. You know? Yeah. So that's that. But if you go here, mids are in preference. Like, every pair is there. Some of them going on clearance. It's accessible, yeah. but other people pay resale. Why? I have no idea. But okay. I mean, I got a, I got a love hate relationship with the resale market. It's because, for example, like say a person is struggling, man, the shoe come out this weekend, and like damn, I don't get paid till next weekend. Yeah. You could wait, go on StockX, and get that shoe later. Right. 
But then again, the bad part for it is like, all right, there's like 30 people in line and none of them is even sneakerheads. No, I'm gonna tell you how bad it is. I know motherfuckers that would pay kids, junkies to stand in line. I've seen that when I was camping out. Right? Like, yeah. like, yo, this shit is mind blowing, dog. Like, I'm like, yo, like, it's <laughs> that bad. Yes. You know what I mean? It's that bad, yo. Yes, like, yo. I get it. It's a hustle. It's a hustle. I respect it, but damn. Let the motherfuckers that want the sneakers wear them. Like, that's it. Like, I get you guys, it's a business, but I don't, that's why, it's, it's, it's I, I love and hate it. I respect yeah, it, but. It's like a double-sided sword. 100%. Man. But do you think it's a solution for that? Or you think it's like, it is what it is, it's part of the culture now? That, it is what it is. Only thing that boils my blood is the bots. Yeah. The bots fuck me up. Like, I hate that. Like. Damn, like you gotta get 30 fucking pair. Like I've seen, I watched, you see the shit with the bull mom worked at Nike? Yep, yep. That whole thing yep. with him. Like, all right, the Nike shit, you get it from your mom, I respect that. Because if my mom worked at Nike, I would be the same yeah, thing. Yeah, hell yeah, for but sure. But the shit, the nigga had box. The nigga bought every pair of Yeezys oh, from his one store. He had box also. I, yes. didn't, I didn't hear. He had a, it was part of his joint. He had an Instagram. And he, he said it. He bought every pair of Yeezys from this one store. Every pair they had, wait, they wait, went wait. on sale. Every pair? Every on pair. On the site. On the site. That's even possible? I, I don't even know how you even got all them shit shipped. But he did. I, I, I wish I had Instagram because I followed him at one point in time. And That's go if crazy. anybody verifies it, go on there and look. He It's in his caption. He said he bought every pair within like a few minutes on his one website. Other oh, Yeezys. I think I, it might have been 350s. I don't remember which pair, but it was. I'm sure it was 350s. I mean, he got he got he got the money. He yeah, capital, one hundred percent. So, but but that's that's the whole point. Like, you have the capital. Why do you need to do that? Like, you don't like. It's not like you're. Ah, right, you're from this. You're from like a lesser, a lesser community, and you need the money. Like, you you're really well off. So, what's the point of you doing this? It's like you have money. I don't think it was money for him. I think it's the rush. I, I think it's the rush and the clout from it. Like these kids yeah, the kid, thrive yeah. off of clout. Like, he wanted to be the guy on Instagram that, oh, I got this shit. Like, my thing is, if he would have been discreet, he would have probably still been doing it. Yeah, hell yeah. Just, but he was so flamboyant. He wanted to be known for doing and it. that's the problem. He, I'm sure he's not the first person to do that. Oh, for sure So, not. it's just the fact he got caught because he was so flamboyant about it. Look at, look at, uh, what's Jordan's son? Marcus? Yeah. He yeah, Marcus, the one from Mar Miami, right? No, the one that had got the sneaker store, the trophy room. I think it's in Miami, no? It, it's a thought it was in Chicago. I think it's in Chicago. Okay. I think Trover Rose is Chicago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. But he backdoored his ones. He did? Yes. But well, why? He did his Jordan. I that's the thing. Like, why it. are you that? Like, I, I forget how many pair, but if I'm not mistaken, it was like at least 75% of the stock. that Because they only came out in his store. Right, yeah. 75% of the inventory backdoored. People was, re resellers was posting... 20 and 30 pair of them at a time. And then he put the raffle out and he figured, I, oh, I wish, I, this was a few months ago, I would have the exact numbers of how many pair actually sold through his site versus that he backdoor. But what's the purpose of doing, I don't understand it. Greed. Man. Him, he doesn't need the money. Your dad is That's a billionaire. That's sheer greed. <laughs> yeah, like, your dad's a what? billionaire. Your dad sets you up in a position to make money off his own brand. Right. You designed two pair of sneakers, if I'm not mistaken, off your own and released them from your own store. And get all the profits. And all the profits pretty much yours outside of whatever you got to kick back to the Jordan brand. Right. Why be that greedy? Why take it away from the consumer? People, People that actually want to wear the shoe and, exactly. like, and promote it for you. Like, exactly. Why would you not want to? I have no idea. Why? I have no idea. But that's a prime example. But the crazy thing is, a few resale pages I've seen, those are showing up in outlets. Really? Yes. Uh, two pairs showed up in a Texas outlet, and huh. two pairs showed up in a California outlet. I don't know if they uh, B grades or what the case may be, but they there. And I'm going to start checking outlets. But, <laughs> but my thing is, I, like, even there at those outlets, it must be people that's not in the sneakers working there because they would never hit the shelves. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, like from them, like, oh. Give me that, buy that. I buy, if I work buy there, I'm buying sure. it. I'm like, all right, I'll pay retail for those. That's like, fine. Don't give me my discount. Give right. me both pairs. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a profit either exactly. way. Exactly. I would keep one and sell the other, 100%. They got to be like in the middle of America, but they don't know what you know. People don't get it. Exactly. I, I, granted, I've, have I came up in outlets? 
No. I'm taking shit, good shit back to the outlet that I didn't want. Really? Yeah. I had uh, a few things that I thought was nice, then I got them. I was like, no, thank you. Like the, those all red 11s. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. But I, I, terrible. I had exclusive <laughs> access. I said, fuck it. Let me get Why them. Not? They and, and, they, and they came. I said, nah, I'm, I'm too much know, red. Yeah, I, I can't wear these. Like, what the fuck am I going to wear them with? So I took them to the outlet. And literally, but, but my example, my point of saying this is that right. the employees there, as soon as I returned them, bought them. Oh yeah, did they like, know right away yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I, um, what I returned, I returned uh, a few pair of low top Elevens that I thought was going to resell. Didn't I just took them back and got the the money back? And you know, even those they bought them right away. You know, I came up on the outlets, uh, the yin yang pack, the ones, the black ones, or and the white ones, and the white both ones, of them. both pair. I bought, wow. I bought two pairs of each under for like sixty dollars each. Now they go for like three hundred dollars. What did I? I ain't getting nothing good from from Nolan. I got the De La Soul dunks from from Ross for thirty bucks. Wait, wait, from what? From Ross, thirty dollars. And nobody in the store seen that. Nope. I went to the store. I mean, they probably did, but if you, if you look at the, the employees at that store, they were older, right, you know, right, women, right, right, you know. Right. So I'm like, they don't know no fucking better. And I went in there. I'm like, what the fuck? In your size, my size. Crazy. I, I'm like, yo, this this is this got to be a dream. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this got to be a dream. You know, I'm an SB dude. I'm like, whoa. 30, That's like, yes, yeah, like thirty bucks, no brainer. Thirty bucks at the uh, Ross and Deffer. Yep. Okay. Yep. If it was in the city somewhere, that would sure. that would that would have happened. I know people that caught a lot of good shit. Like may, maybe not to the sense of being notable sneakers like Dunks, Jordans, but like right. quality sneakers at Ross. People sleep on Ross. Ross has a Ma lot of I, shit. Uh, Marshall's too. Marshall, well, yeah, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, yeah. all of the, all of those brands have a lot of shit. And I hate that it became a point where resellers are going there and buying shit too. Now yeah, you're it's, taking it's, shit out of, of uh, out of the. the uh, Less fortunate people's hands. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just a nasty game. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's I like I, I put a few people I see on Instagram, like in the news, in the what is it, the news, whatever that is, Explore page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people on there literally go to these stores and buy a bunch of shit just to sell. And I get it because that's a business within itself too. But now it you're taking away the from. Love. Oh, yeah, it's just like come on. Like when I when I was younger, those were the stores. My mom would go like back then it was Value City. And shit like that. Yeah, like my yeah, mom would go to stores like that and buy shit, and then it was it was there. But now, like, what about the less fortunate moms that can't afford to yeah. go to Foot Locker? They can That's go like there. That's like two pair of shoes now. It's exactly. Like ridiculous. I mean, you growing in there for the kids. But again, I, I respect it because it's a business. So you say you're not a fan of, I guess, the, the bootleg no. culture. No, I, I I don't own any. And I don't think I would own it. I see a few that I think is cool. Right. Like uh, the dude Cool Kai. Yeah, I fucked with him. I like his sneakers. I like the colorways. I like the quality. It's a quality sneaker. It's better than Jordan brand. Yeah, yeah. the quality is great. And I don't knock him right. for what he does. Right. It's, you know what? I can't say I wouldn't buy it because it's a few of his pair I would buy. Like them black, green, and orange Jones are yeah. nuts, man. He's, he got he's a going few nuts, pair. Though. He got a few pair that's, that's hard. But I just haven't. Right. But not him, not only him though, there's been a few people that has done that silhouette. It's a lot of them. Yeah. It's one called Soul by Soul or Soul. His logo is um it's like a like a Grim Reaper. It's a lot of them. What's the one dude that got sued by Nike with the dunks? Just a so, he he had like the um I forgot his name, but he had like a hockey mask over the swoosh. It looked like looked like Jason. Yeah, yeah, but he got sued because he actually had the swoosh. Okay. He just put something over it. Yeah. And Nike said, all right, come on. You like it. And then he, then he was doing their exact colorways. And he was. 100%. And he was making a lot of he money. He was selling out. In minute, and he was selling four or $500 from them. So they wasn't 110, 120. But he was making like a lot. Of stuff. Like he was making a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, hold up, buddy. <laughs> hold up. And then, he, then, then he, the, the next version he came out of them were terrible. Yeah. Like, super terrible. But again, I don't knock it, though. It's a hustle. Whatever, whatever way you want to make your money. And I remember when the. Fake sneakers were a thing. What, yeah, what, like oh, two thousand. I I, 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 I had a pair. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know any better back then. I knew it was all about the color. Like yo, that's that colorway exactly. is nuts. I gotta get that colorway. Exactly. I gotta get the Jordan wasn't coming out with that nope. colorway, so I'm nope. like, oh shit, I'm getting them. And I at this day and age, but I, I did. Yeah, but yeah. even then, it was in people were it was, wearing. It was them. acceptable, right? It wasn't frowned upon. Yeah, people were wearing them. But I used to, listen. I used to be. 
like an OG sneakerhead, like, nah, I don't wear no bootlegs. But you know what really changed my mind about them? And I had to think about it. Are you, are you a fan of Bapes? Yeah. Do you know Bapes are bootlegs? Yeah, that's an Air Force One. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, people go crazy for the, but I'm like, do you know the Bapes are, are Air Forces that another brand took and put a logo on it? There's no connection with Nike with them. It's, it, those are, uh, they have something to do with Nego, right? Yeah, 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 it's, it's, yeah, this brand. Yeah, I, I like they it. sold it now, but they've been sold it, but that's what I'm saying is like, the Bapes are bootlegs. They are, they are. Imitation is everywhere. Right. Clothing brands, sneakers, which I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? It, I'm not surprised, but what's that? What's the high brand that just that just took Jordan one and put their logo on it? The Booms. Um, uh, the uh, Marys. The Marys. But, but they're the ones. Go back. Go, go back before Marys. Let's go to. Uh, well, not before Marys, right. but um, Margiela. Margiela got the. Uh, the threes or the fours? They got ones that look like them. What's the other ones? I was I was gonna copy for my birthday, but I couldn't find them in the colorway. They look just like Jordan ones. Um, Santa Rocks. I, see, I like them though. I, I love them. I like them. I love those. I like them. But you see what I'm saying? Like we kind of we kind of choose and pick as sneaky culture. The eye. Right, that brand has a bigger name, so I'll be more acceptive to wearing that bootleg. It's a dude from Philly that got a sneaker that's similar to Saint Laurent. That's dope. Um, is it, is it some, some, I think he is. Yeah, the like beard. No, nah, it's like Calvin Mitchell Jr. or some shit like something Mitchell Jr. Mitchell let me see. Jr. I, I, let me see. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna see. It's, 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 it's a couple of black guys that's like have their own like twist on sneaker. This is this other guy. He got glasses and a big beard. I forgot his name. Um, I know he started out as he started out making clothes. Started out making clothes and. The clothes. From Philly. I believe he's from Philly. Uh, maybe he just followed a bunch of people from Philly. Right. But he started out making clothes, and his clothes were like, it was like dicky shirts and stuff like that. And he painted on them. And, he, and it kind of, yeah. the, 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 the artwork kind of resembled. Um, I think so. And, and his. And his, 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 uh, they used to sell like in, um, in, uh, what's that sneaker store? There used to be a lot of them in, um, I know what you're talking about. There used to be in, uh, what's the name of that sneaker store? Slip in my mind. Where? Kicks. Not Kicks. Nah. I what's not. the other one? What's the, what's the other, the other big, um, sneaker store? Like, uh, Lapstone? No, not Lapstone. It's like a, it's like a Kicks. Uh, Sneaker Villa? Sneaker Villa. Was it, was his brand a Sneaker Villa? I don't think so. Do we? Let me see. I got the person I'm thinking of that was from Philly and he used to make, like t-shirts, but it was like in sneaker stores, like Foot Lockers, Kicks. Ah, what's now that I name? Can't, this, out of all the times, I can't I think find I know, his Instagram. I think now. I know what you're talking about. His sneakers look like St. Laurent's. Which ones? The, the, his sneakers look very similar to St. Laurent's, the ones we were just talking about. The ones the, that look like, like ones. yeah. Right, right. His look like that, but it got like a, it's like a line, like in, where, where a Nike sign would be. It's like a line or something like that. I like them though. I like them. Right. I like them. I like his clothing brand. I was going to buy a few pieces from him. I, I know he went to Lincoln. Yo, I know, Lincoln. I, I, I know what you're talking about. I just can't. I just can't get his name out. But I know. I know. I know, I know what you're talking about. He went to Lincoln. That's all. I, that's all I know. He used to make like it's like these like it looked like like paint. Yes. I, yes. I, I, I know, I know yes. What you're talking about. Him. I know, I know what you're talking about. He got a sneaker line now. I didn't know that. Okay. Yes, him. Okay. But that's I, I that's who, close. Yeah. That's what I'm sure. That's all right. So we go on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like this that they look like St. Laurent's. I like them though. I do. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a lot of brands that took the Jordan. It's one that have the the Empire State Building. Yes, as a logo. That one. I, it's one that got the Statue of Liberty as a logo. Yeah, the one that got um Dice. Well, no, he does Don. What's his name? Don by. Dice. I seen that too. I, I actually seen the dunk ones from Cool Kai page. Yeah, they kind of like this page. Did you see the one? Brand. Did you see the one that's like a fry? What you mean? It's, it's, it's a the, the word. It's a dunk and it's a fry versus a Nike sign. No, I just start following. It's a lot of them. It's a million. It's, of no, them. it's a. But the reason why I like the book cool cars because I, I got like I went for like four pairs now. I went. I've been going crazy. One one of the colorways are freaking. He he goes nuts with the colorways. So it's like, nah. I ain't even think I gotta follow that. And I, I, I see a bunch of people buying them. 
Maybe. And it's like like it's like a fry, it looks like a fry, like maybe on top of a burger or something. Or maybe like salt or something. I don't know what it is. That looks I like them though. They hot. Like I, one of my homies just grabbed a pair. I like them. But I'm like, I've never seen this. And then it's another uh, one, it's another one that comes in like a, it looked like a, a lunchbox. Yeah, I seen those. It's a, oh, it's it's a ton of them. Yeah. But it's a ton of them. I, I love it. Get your money. Right. They cool. I don't own a pair, but <laughs> so I like because them. it's not. Is it is it like the OG sneakerhead in you? Like, nah, yeah, I, I don't want to venture around. Yeah, I can't. What is your favorite streetwear brand? Ooh, uh, Eric Emanuel, and uh, that's the, that's what these shorts are. Yeah, Eric Emanuel. Is, what's the reason why? I just love the shorts. Yeah, like, shorts I, for one, so crazy. Before, like. Let's go back, and I hate to take the credit for this shit, but <laughs> this is how I feel. Motherfuckers wasn't wearing shorts that was above the knee this much. And I came cool like maybe like what? Two years ago? I've been wearing it. If I can show you maybe. pictures of me wearing Patagonia shorts that are the same length. Right. Four years ago, oh, the motherfuckers was you. clowning me. Oh, them little ass shorts. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But the thing about I can't front though, because I got the Patagonia shorts from Denim. You know, uh, Denim Tears? Yeah, 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 I got yeah, them from yeah. him. He ta oh. All he talks about is five, 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 five inch baggies from Patagonia. Right. And I remember five was following him for a while. And I said, damn, them shorts dope. And I found them on Patagonia website. And then a few other places had them, you know, like uh, outdoor stores had them. And right. I just really got them from then. And I'm like, all right. And I've been wearing Patagonias for years. And then, you know, other brands start coming out with the shorts. And I like the colorways that Eric made. Yeah, he got some crazy It's colorways. nuts. Yeah. And he comes out with a few pair every Friday. So I like it. And I, right. I grab. But for me, like Street Bands, Eric Emanuel, I like, uh, I like, uh, I like any social. I do. Yeah. A lot of people don't. I like them. I hate their shipping process. It's fucking terrible. But <laughs> I, I like any social. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Does Travis Scott shit fall in that category the merch the merch yeah I, not really then take them away this is merch, yeah. i like cactus playing flea market yeah yeah they're fine um yeah, they're fine. i don't care for supreme at all i feel like it's i've never owned a pair of super hype anything i had a few t-shirts they but, cost too much yo yeah and it's the quality is fucking terrible i've heard it's I terrible heard just regular white just regular like low budget t-shirts which is super low it's gilded Oh, it's, it's, just, it's Gil. Oh, it's the worst of the worst. And then you get the socks and the underwear. It's the hang shit you buy from Walmart. Just slap the Supreme on. You pretty much just paying for the name. That's it. So I said, yeah, I've never done this shit again. Right now, when I wear street clothes, it's mostly merch. Right. Yeah, it's like mostly merch. Okay. I feel like it's like a new wave now. Of a lot of merch is like, because I'm, it's a lot of, I'm wearing a couple of t-shirts from StockX. Uh, from uh, Travis Scott's. Yeah. Like the, the McDonald's John. I got a few of them. I got, I got a few of them. Joe one is like the big ass uh, action figure on the back. I got the green, the, the light green one of that one and the uh, royal blue one of that one. Yeah, fine. And then uh, all, like Travis Scott merch, I buy three or four pieces every time. And the quality of these newer releases don't match the quality of the older releases. The quality of the older releases is unbeatable. Like I got the older t-shirts. Yeah. I'm trying to think from when they came out. This is probably like 2019. 18 maybe his merch was quality but then like i don't know as it gradually went on it just seemed like it got less and less quality because they probably figured hey we got the crowd down let's just skim a little corner to make it a little more profit and i feel like with them they don't i feel like they they really money chase in a sense because they don't set a number for how much sells that's why it takes so long for you to get it they sell for whatever they sell for 24 hours and, and then they, they gotta make it that's why it tells you like four to eight weeks because they taken all these orders and then make, uh, make, make, yeah, make the order. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but they don't set a number. They just release as many people want to buy. You could buy 70 pieces. They'll then they go make them. They'll go make them. Are, so, you, are, are you big on the Yeezys? I got a few. Uh, you know what's crazy? My, my Yeezy experience has been interesting. The okay. first, the first high top black ones, the original, the ones that had the strap on them, what was the, Wait, the, the Nike? Not the Nike was the black the Adidas. When he, the first pair of high top. The one like us. You know the one with the zippers on the side? It yeah. Had, it didn't have a strap, did it? It, it had I believe it, it, it had a strap. Yeah, the Ux. I whatever I forget the number it was. It's, it's it was. called the Ux. 
Like, it was a high number. I won them on the Nike app to confirm that. Yo, what's, yo, you got, <laughs> you're the second person of interview that have crazy luck with the sneaker. But this is old. This is old. I don't have that luck at all. <laughs> at all. But I won them on a confirmed app. It wasn't my size. It was an eight. I won, I won, I won them. You had to be in New York at the time. Oh. They were selling at New York stores. Yeah. I, I work in New York. And I was just fucking around and I got through for a size eight. I went and picked them up. I paid three fifty well, plus taxes on closer to four hundred. That's how I felt when it first came out. And I sold them the same day for eighteen hundred. Same day. Eighteen hundred. So uh, one of my you coworkers. The same day. So one of my coworkers came. His homie came to the job and cashed me out. Eighteen hundred. You should. You should have sat on that board. I, 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 I wasn't turning down eighteen off of four. Yeah, and nobody knew what it was gonna be. Exactly. Now, granted, it. we knew like we knew the Yeezy resale was nuts. The, the turtle doves and yeah, that was when it was like he was jumping. What was the tan ones called? Um, Something. The tan ones or the OGs, not the whatever. The, was it three? I think those were three fifties too. But it wasn't. The, it was like the ones with the, with the very thin the soles. very thin yeah, soles. Exactly. Yeah, those yeah. ones. So those the V ones. I mean, initially, look, I guess V one. Right, V I to so the yeah. V ones. Those were big, and I knew I seen the resale on them, and I knew a couple of my coworkers won from Foot Locker, the Turtle Doves and the black ones. But those tan ones, like I said, they only came out of like Bornies, yeah. and I had just missed a pair. I had got I did the, I took the subway there, and there was something going on at the subway, and the train stopped for like twenty minutes. I got there, they had just gave the last wristband yeah. away for the for them. He's sticking by his word. Originally, he said that he is going to make Everybody. Yeezys extremely accessible and everybody's going to have a pair. The only thing he didn't do, what he said he was going to do, he said they were going to be cheaper. Yeah, but I'm, I'm fine with that. But he comes out with three, four pair a week. He's, but he's kind of killing his brand, though. See, but I, at this point, he wants to take away the exclusivity and make it a household brand where you can just buy it. Like, it's not a hassle no more. Right, but yeah, I, right. I I feel like I get what you're saying because it is, but like we're thinking, it's we well, don't think it has exclusivity, okay, right? Right, because right. right. it's like all right. At one point in time, like the Royals, how I mean, you wouldn't see a lot of motherfuckers with the Royals. No, you couldn't. Exactly, <laughs> you couldn't. So right. it became a point where, like, but if Jordan kept bringing them out, and when it killed one of them, and when it killed me having the yeah, me exactly. wanting to wear them, like I everybody got them, I don't want to wear them. It takes away from the exclusivity. So yeah. I seen on your page you got a, a brand. So speak on your brand. So Wash Dads isn't my brand. Okay. There's okay. a common misconception in that. And and I that's see, because I, I promote it so much. Okay, okay. It's one of my best friends' brand. Okay, okay. But I have ties to it because I, I do the styling for it. Like the sh most of the shoots and stuff like that. Or they'll just use me. So I'll do it. And, uh, As a face of the brand. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, they so, ambassador. Absolutely. But like they're my guys. When it comes to ordering, like a lot of times when it comes to them creating stuff, sometimes they, you know, we spitball off each other. But right. it's a great brand, and it's you know something that's giving back to dads. Like the black, the black father is one of the most unappreciated things in the world. And I hate to call us a thing, but just an example of it: black men being fathers is unappreciated. Because Their goal is to not make it a clothing line that's just. Well, let me throw this on and go to the store. Let me throw this on to run to the mall. Like, nah, let, this is a line that you can dress. You can actually you, like you, go to dinner or something with. You can okay. dress it up. Like, however you want to dress it up, you dress it up. You want to dress it down, you want to dress it up. And they just want to, you know, they, I help them show that, help them show the world that it's different ways to wearing it. Right. Before it be put into one category as a clothing line. Let you know that you can wear it to the club yeah. or you can wear it to a cookout. Like, whatever you want to do. My other homies, my homie Clout, uh, he has a clothing line. Okay. Public equity is great. I put the ad and everything in the. In the I, I'll send it to you. We support uh, black businesses here. Hundred percent, hundred percent. They, the they, they close the line. Public equity is great. Um, am I missing anybody that got a close the line? I think I think. If I miss you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let's speak. Our, I, I see your, your one fifth of a podcast. Yes. So yeah. what's the name of the podcast? The podcast is the Office 14. We're available on all streaming platforms as well as YouTube. So, what's the story behind the name? Uh, okay, so the office, believe it or not, like we used to go to this bar called Cooper's. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. We and we called it the office. That's where. That's what we called. We we used to go there at one point in time. We was there three, four days a week. <laughs> like our whole. Crew. I get it. Like you going to work. It's like all right. right, right we right. have fun there. That was the office. Yo, right. we going to the office tonight. Yeah, I'll meet you at the office. But that was what it was. So it became that to. Uh, 
then we you know we like we gonna stick with that name because we were known for that. We right. had a bunch of other people calling that establishment the office. Right. So it went from that to the fourteen part. So fourteen is uh, nine to five. Nine plus five is fourteen. We, we're all nine to five men. Got you. Okay. Like, okay. We, we okay. All work, okay. We all get up and work and do what we have to do. No, right. No. No scamming. No Just drug support, dealing. Right. None of that. Just so straight legit. Straight legit. So, you know the office. Nine to five. Nine plus five is fourteen. So that's where the name came from. Okay, that's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope. And it's uh, it's just it's just everyday talks. Like I mean, everything from parenting to threesomes. Like <laughs> oh, so it's, it's, it's everything, random. everything. And I mean, we try to stay on topic with you know current events. We try right. to not not as much because if you listen to podcasts, most podcasts talk about that. They talk yeah, about it's a little, yeah, right, it's a little right. different. We try to stay away from sports, we try to stay away from politics, but just your everyday conversations. And a lot of times we just try to give the men's perspective. Because okay. a lot of, we don't admit, people don't really speak for men. Like if you let who if you let who the people have televised speak for us from Steve Harvey, he can't speak for me. Yeah, he's you know like, yeah, he Kev, doesn't he doesn't come from where I come from. Kevin Samuels, I love Kev. Kev can speak for me a little bit. Not they, all the time. But they're too extreme. Like one is like extremely for the women, right? One is like too extreme for the men. But that's what I'm saying. So it got to be the medium. Yeah, right, We're the right, medium because right. I, I love both. <laughs> not so much Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Not yeah, so. Much. I love his daughter. A lot of pander. I love his daughter. She's amazing. <laughs> Hello, Lori. If somehow, for some reason, you watch this, hey, she's a savage. Stay away from. I'm me. fine with that. <laughs> Fine with that. It's a few women now. That's another story. I'm not gonna get into. We talk about sneakers right now, so let's stay on this bit. My pop. We, and we bring a lot of people on. We bring therapists on. Um, several entrepreneurs. Uh, people that's doing good for the community. Whatever. If you have something to offer, right? We would love to help you out and put you get you the publicity that we can. That's you know what I mean? And it is dope. And any any collab, anything like that, we love to do. If if it's gonna help us, help you, right. or help you help us, absolutely, a hundred percent. All right, man, so they want to see some shoes, man. Listen, well, let's I, I want to see some shoes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, these dunks. Like I said, I had both pair of Prestos. I sold them. I couldn't beat the prices I sold them for, but these just the rubber dunks. The, the one, these only came out in China, if I'm not mistaken. They didn't come out here at all. Yeah, I've never seen nobody wearing these. Just the, these is crazy. The black and green ones came out here. I think those blue and silver ones wasn't supposed to come out here either. But that's those ones. Yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy? Uh, one of my episodes, I went to this older guy. He's been collecting sneakers since 89, right? He has 4,000 pairs of shoes. Shit. Check that video when you get a chance. But he has all the OG dunks where the soles are yellow. Oh, the the, the college pack. The, the OG yeah. college pack. Wow. The sneaker I paid the most resale for. How much you paid? 900 The most I'm going to pay for, for a while, I was like, listen, I'm not paying resellers no money. The most I paid, the, the, my highest paid resale sneakers I bought was the Oreo V2 350s. And I paid like three. The, the black and white ones? Yeah, the one with the white stripes. I think they bought the Oreos. Not, not two zebras. No, all black, white stripes. Oh! Now they, had, they had the white stripes, they had I the had red them. one. They, they, these, set like a, these set like hell. They did. It's crazy. I, got the, I bought these used from GOAT. Look how they look brand new. I've never, I've never, I've never them. bought from Goat before. I bought them used from Goat, and like I say, original was the box at one forty. It wasn't one sixty. One forty back then. Man. Uh, Yo, he got these from Ross. Ross. Yeah, from Ross, one hundred percent. No box, right? I'm assuming. No box, no box, no box, no box. So so just, these are my my favorite. One of my favorite SB. I know a lot of people don't like them, but the Santa Claus Jones. These are crazy. Santa Claus from, I don't know what year this was. This might have been 16, I think. I never wore them. Yo, these are crazy. Yeah, this was one of the, the Christmas pack. We go Shadow Ooh, Back War 2. We go I got, there. I got, I got like, I got maybe like three something ones, but I don't got these. I tried for these, though. They cost, the resale price on these is. I camped out for them and then got to the front and they didn't have my size. Dude gave me them for 200. 200. 200. Right, right, right off the store, 200. The, <sighs> Listen, y'all know I'm a Lakers fan. I'm, just, they go for a lot, man. Yeah, they, I knew. The, I, I, I thought the other ones were gonna go for a lot too. The what was it? The Paris to New York ones. I oh, you, they, oh, you got them on go? Yeah, it was go. I thought it was. These sad. Just sad. These sad. It's crazy. Look, look, the tag. Let me see here. Look. 
Foot action. Foot action. He walked in the store. You know where these go for? What, what's the date? The date was on here. The, the, December 23rd, 9, 8, 9, 9 o'clock a.m. Yo, they get the glitter. These are like that. I from yesterday when I think about the closet. That's I don't know why. The shadows. I'm not a fan of those. He just don't look. He just don't look right on me. I like him on on, on girls though. And the, the glitter is is crazy. nuts. Yeah, the glitter on these is nuts. See, these are the the original lows. Yeah, there. Yeah. There's two pair. Those are the original. Yeah, like the, this is the cut of the lows. All the new ones are like this is different. I don't like it. Oh jeez. Where my where my bread? Where my Chicago's at? This is. And then the, the Chicago's. Yeah, you got all the, I got all the good colors. All the ones that that, that, that matters for real, for real. And then now they about to come out with the shattered backboard lows. Which... And they coming out with the this this version of lows. I've seen those again. No, I'm saying like the oh cut, yeah, the shattered the backboard. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. The cut. Yeah. Y'all look great. These are fire. Well, what would you rather, as far as like how they fit? These or the ones? I like ones. Those. The more puffy too. It feel like I should play basketball in those. I never, I never wore them yet either. Oh, these are fire! Yeah, the yeah, StockX. <laughs> There's still the tag on them. Yeah, these are fire! Yeah. I don't think it's Iowa. These remind me of those ones coming out too. The Wu Tang. I like ones. the ones though. I like what, what they call pollen. Is that what it is? I like, like pollen ones. ones. Um, and then you know, a lot of motherfuckers don't really. Like I said a lot of people not sneaking here, it's my opinion. Motherfuckers KOs. They Yo, don't know about KOs, man. The only I was telling you about, every colorway. Dang. Every colorway, yo, you can think of. Every colorway. I like KOs. I like KOs. People too. kept saying they was mids. They're not mids. They're not mids. They're highs. They just even though the this is kind of low on top, but they're not mids. They classified as a high. And I, I'm really into art, so. Like really into art, right? And anybody knows the Gucci Ghost collection. Remember the Gucci Ghost? No, no. It was the joint with the ghost ghost prints all over it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. artist behind that name was his name was Trouble Andrew. He had a Reebok collaboration. Trouble Andrew. Yep. Yeah, Goddamn. I said this box. I don't think I've ever opened this box. There we go. Huh. Yeah, it's a, never wore these either, but. What you got them just for like collecting? I'm gonna collect them because it's an art, it's a piece of art. They say, yeah, the, the Gucci ghost used to be all over the Gucci joints like that. But I got a few of his pieces, like the clothing line he came out with and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll probably never wear these. Just give me like off white vibes a little bit. In a sense. And I got a few like. Artist collab vans like the Van Gogh like, vans. I like the box. The box is dope. Workout plus stadium. You're a sneakerhead and you know sneakerheads, just let me know. I'm pulling up. We're going to kick it, talk shoes, and show some shoes. Um, make sure you follow him. The gallery is Scott. Uh, watch. What's it called? Watch, Watch that. Yeah. Make sure you go support that. Support his podcast. The Office 14. Information always going to be in the bio. I got a few people for you, too. Let me ass. know. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm rap with them. Let me know. I'm pulling up. Let I'm going to rap with them. They got some shit. It's a few people that got some serious shit, man. I wish I could get in touch with the dude that bought the Prestos. His, his collection Crazy. might be one of the best in the city. Like... And he's not an Instagram dude, so people like oh, don't know. No, no, yeah, he's like one of them underground guys. He he might have the best collection, hands down, in the city. All right, let, 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 let me in. Listen, if you a sneakerhead, just DM me. If you know him, reach out to him, and I'm going to pull up. We're going to talk sneakers. I want y'all to like, share, subscribe. Uh, Till next time, deuces. Appreciate you.